I do, I do like a good challenge. I really like a good challenge. And um, my job is my hobby. You know, I, I love coming to work. I skip up the hill each morning thinking, you know, well, what, what will happen today? What will I discover today? But it's also, you know, there's lots of hard work. So um, for five years now, we've been collecting data in the mountaintop observatory in Chile. Uh, mapping out a huge area of the sky in order to get our observations and that's an awful lot of work for that that final answer of you know what does that dark matter look like can we can we learn something new about dark energy can we rule out some theories now what I'm most famous for or at least at the start of my career um, was building the actual techniques where you could extract the information about where the dark matter is from the data now this is an extremely meticulous task, uh, it's very challenging to do and, and in my early part of my career that was what I became most famous for, the, the ability to actually take raw data like this and, and turn it into a dark matter map like that. Now I've got a lovely large team here that's funded by the European Research Council at the moment and when I assembled my team I wanted to cover all of the different aspects that we need uh, in order to be able to realise the, the goals of our project um, and so I've recruited from all across the globe uh, lots of different people who just want the best minds, the most creative minds and what I'm really looking forward to is building uh, a mirror team in Germany with this Max Planck Humboldt Award, another creative, enthusiastic team that covers all of these different aspects that we need in our science projects um, and exploiting these wonderful data sets. So when I tell people I'm a professor of astrophysics, they often look at me and kind of go, wow, how do you cope? And I'm like, what? And they're like, how, how do you cope with just the, how large the universe is? Does that not just like completely scare you? It could be that our universe isn't the only universe, that there are other universes out there as well. So we here on planet Earth are really very small and insignificant. And I, I actually genuinely find that quite relaxing because it doesn't really matter what we do because in the, the volume of the universe, we're, we're really quite small. I am very lucky that I have um, three lovely children um, who are just fascinating. They're always asking me, why is it like that? And then I think, well, actually, why is it like that? And that's what science is all about. And so um, it's just wonderful trying to explain things to my children. Now, I think they're sometimes a little embarrassed to tell their friends that their mother's a professor of astrophysics, um, but I am still allowed to go into the school. So I do lots of science stuff in the school with the kids. And I, I knew I'd hit gold the one morning when I went in and uh, loads of the other school kids were running around going, yay, it's the cool science lady so <laughs> they clearly enjoy the science that we do. Um, I think it's really important to talk about our work to everybody. Um, there's no point in doing science if you're if you're just talking to your colleagues and your and your expert audience. It's really important that we can share what we're doing with everyone because it is really exciting. We're going to see the universe at, uh, at deeper depths than we've ever seen before and so there's always the joy of, we might find something that, that we've never expected to see before, the discovery of the unknown. Whenever you do something new, whenever you go to a, a different type of data, you'll find something new. So we're really excited about what this new instrument's going to be able to provide. And with this award, we're going to be able to bring this facility to um, scientists in Germany as well to be able to use um, and have their, their expertise and input in this project as well, which is going to be really valuable.